All right, fellow YouTubers, I'm going to uh, just go over this Combat Model 69 uh, Smith & Wesson. Some people had some questions about um, when you cut the cylinder for moon rings, can you still load it uh, without the rings? And you can, but I'm just going to kind of show some of the features here of the gun. It's unloaded, of course. Um, so... This is obviously like the uh, stainless or color. It's like a kind of a satin color even. Um, I purchased the wood grip separately. These don't come with the gun. These are the gun, uh, the grips that come with the gun from the factory. And um, they're nice, kind of a hard rubber grip. Um, also got these hole grips here. It's kind of like a boot grip. It's a little bit smaller. Um, they're comfortable, but... Uh, Either way, wood grips or these, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel the kick from this uh, when you're shooting magnum loads. Uh, and I've never even shot special loads out of it because I don't have any uh, 44 special brass. And I've got a lot of 44 magnum brass. So I'm not gonna go out and and buy a 44 special because I don't plan on shooting it in my other 44 magnum. So, but uh, it's a nice uh, lightweight uh, revolver. You probably don't want lightweight for a 44 Magnum uh, because of the uh, recoil, but uh, it's not it's not too bad. Uh, the wood grips they slide in your hand a little bit, so uh, it doesn't seem as bad as uh, uh, when you're using like this hole grip here. So you got some um, uh, let's see here some texturing on the hammer here. Yeah, it's a Smith, so the trigger's nice. Although there is a uh, the trigger bar in here was replaced with something. It's supposed to be an upgrade, but I've never had a, a problem with Smith and, Smith and Wesson to begin with with their triggers. But it's a very smooth double action. Very smooth. Very light. And the single action, of course, is very light. Just barely touch it. Uh, it's got the. Uh, the red on the front sight there, which a lot of Smiths do. Uh, the adjustable back sight. And um, cylinder rotates nice and free. And you can see the cut in there for the moon clips. I got some rounds here. I'm just going to drop them in, show you how that works. So just drop them in there, and you can just pop them out like that. And uh, this tool here is used to take, I got some, an empty one here. You can use this tool to actually take the brass off. So just put it on, pop them off. You don't need this tool. Oh, it's got stuck in there. You don't need this tool to take them off. You can actually just pop them right off yourself. But if you want to use this tool to put them on or take them off, you can. It's a little tight though, since these have some, uh, yeah, they have a, uh, Little bit of soot on them or yeah, a little bit of powder on them. But this is what the rings look like. There. Just a piece of cut steel. And uh the actual cut for the moon clips was done by let's see I have paperwork here somewhere. Uh, let's see. There we go. Your seats here like uh, 10 ring precision did the cuts and then I have a dozen moon rings for it and the original uh, trigger bar so that's there too and for the sights anyways I'm going to go out and show some footage of uh, this gun being shot with the uh, moon clips in and without the moon clips I'm gonna be using uh, some of these guys are filled with uh, line 2400 this is 21 greens the silver ones and a 240 grain pill um, it's kind of like a semi wad cutter hollow point that's different works fine though it's accurate uh, some of these light these are like a cowboy load I forget what grain they are but they're very light it's a lead lead bullet and 
And then some of these, these are just 20 grade, so the Lion 2400. These are actually, they, these shoot very nice in the handgun. The uh, 21 grain silver guys, um, these rattle your teeth a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and shoot it and get some footage of it. And uh, I'll put that in at the end here. Um, other than that, it's a, it's a very nice revolver. It is a, uh, what they call an L frame which is right between K and an N. So it's lighter weight, it's smaller, it's easier to carry around if you wanted to carry it hiking. You can put it on like a like a chest rig and um, you know, it's nice and light. So you could take it on uh, long distances without uh, fatiguing you at all. Um, but it is only a five shot. So keep that in mind. Other than that, this pistol's great. Um, I've shot probably a few hundred rounds through it. It's used when I bought it, so it was used when I bought it, so I don't know how many rounds they put through it. I'm um, getting a little bit of powder burn on the cylinder here, but that's not a big deal. I actually seen the um, the ones that have the titanium cylinder uh, when they get the powder burns. Actually, it makes kind of a rainbow effect. It looks really cool. I wish it did that, but um, it's fine. It's normal for a Smith uh, or any revolver to get those little burn marks on the cylinder there. But, yeah. That's the uh, Smith & Wesson Combat uh, Model 69. Yeah. So these lead cowboy loads on the moon clip. Moon clip, some of the 21 green stuff. Thank you. 